Teaneck is one of the hardest hit areas in New Jersey, and members of the Volunteer Ambulance Corps there play a critical role on the front lines. Now note, I said volunteers, and they are in need of critical equipment to help protect them from the virus. Here is CBS 2's Alice Gaynor. You got COVID-19, let's go. Older gentleman who is uh, showing some symptoms, fever, difficulty breathing. I didn't know until I got on scene that it was actually a family member of mine. Just got back from taking a husband to the hospital after we took his wife uh, a couple hours earlier. So we had a point this morning where we had four simultaneous ambulance calls going on. Just got back from a COVID-19 call where the patient was pronounced dead on the scene. With little time to process or reflect, we were dispatched to the same facility for an elderly female, another COVID-19. On an average day, the Teaneck Volunteer Ambulance Corps gets 12 to 15 calls. Now it's as high as 28. COVID-19 calls are now everything we're getting. He was really having trouble breathing. Calls take longer. They're a little more difficult. Patients are very sick. Our members need to gown up in the proper PPE, which takes time. It's taking longer at the hospitals and obviously the decontamination process as well. Jacob Finkelstein says normally they're staffed weekly with 50 to 60 volunteers. Now they're down to about half. You mentioned some members actually contracted coronavirus. About how many members? Three members who were hospitalized. Um, the longest one being in there for about a week and a half. And there are others at home being monitored by doctors, others who have symptoms but haven't been tested. It's more work for the rest of the volunteers who, remember, don't get paid a dime. I got about 45 minutes of sleep before I was called back in. Members say it's been a blessing in disguise that they haven't had time to think about the risk to themselves or to really process what they're seeing. You are there and you experience everybody's most tragic moment. And as they take on that burden, they're asking for donations so they can continue helping. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. They're literally our backbone. Thank you to all of them.